Hello everybody and thanks for watching. Today we will make this jacket. It's a granny square pattern. It's an adult size, about 21 inches in width, 29 inches in length, and from the middle to the sleeve, 28 inches. First we will create two hexagons and when they are folded together, they make the left and the right side of the jacket. We will connect the back and make a triangle for the neck. Then we will add some length to our sleeves. We will create a collar and if you want to make some rows to make your jacket longer and add a border. I used five different acrylic colors but you can use of course more or less. First we will create two 3D hexagons so you can fold them and they will create the sleeve on the right and then the same thing on the left and the front and the back of the jacket. Make a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five, and make a slip stitch into the very first chain. Then chain three for the first double crochet and make two more double crochet into the ring. One and two. Chain two and make three double crochet in to, into the ring. Then chain two and make three more double crochet into the ring. All together we will have six groups of three double crochet. So repeat this four more times. At the end of the round I've made six times three double crochets with chains of two in between and I finish with a chain of two. Make a slip stitch into the second double crochet. Skip the chain, make a slip stitch into the double crochet. Then make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch into the chain space. Now we will form six corners, chain three for the first double crochet and then two more double crochet into the chain space. Then chain two in the corner we will always chain two and make three more double crochet into the same chain space. That's our first corner. We have to make five more. In between corners we always chain only one. Then move to the next corner and repeat three double crochet. Then two chains for the corner and three double crochet. then one chain and into the next corner three doubles two chains three doubles into the next corner then again only one chain and repeat this pattern until you have six corners I created the six corner spaces I chained one and I skipped the chain again make a slip stitch into the second double and into the third double and into the chain space. Chain three and make two more doubles into the chain space. We will create a corner again. Chain two, double crochet three into the same chain space. chain one and now we created an extra space and we will make three double crochet into that space one two and three chain one and into the next corner we make in the second corner three doubles two chains three doubles
then the next chain space chain one make three doubles into the next chain space chain one and then repeat four more four more corners double crochet three times chain two double crochet three times then chain one make three double crochets in the chain space and chain one and as you can see the work is not laying flat because later on we will fold it together and it will create that L shape at the end of the round chain one and I make a slip stitch again into the second double into the third and into the chain space and then I make a new corner chain three two doubles chain two and three doubles into the same chain space now we have two spaces so we make a chain of one and then we make two groups with three double crochets three doubles in the first space chain one and three doubles into the second space chain one and then start the next corner three doubles two chains three doubles and then chain of one three doubles chain of one three doubles chain of one and the next corner so now we have one now we have two groups of three doubles and now we can fold again to see our nice l shape I will make a color change every four rounds so at the end of this round I chained one then I make a slip stitch into the second double and into the third double and a slip stitch into the chain space but leave two loops on the hook and then I made a slip knot into my new color and I pull it through the two loops then I chain three for the first double crochet one two three and I can pull everything tight and work my yarn in then I make two more doubles into the chain space one two I just work the same corner two chains and three doubles then a chain and then I continue my pattern with the three doubles a chain three doubles a chain three doubles a chain and then the corner as we always work the corner with three doubles two chains and three doubles and I make color changes every four rounds so I will show you how it looks I used five colors and I have made all together 20 rounds so four rows of four rounds with each color one two three four five five times four that's 20 rounds now i will fold my pieces and i have the wrong side out so this is the wrong side and this is the right side inside and i will fold these pieces And this is also wrong side out and now we have the jacket and I will stitch the back together so this is my back and we will start on the two corners and stitch our way up this way Now we'll start stitching the back together and I zoomed in a little bit so here are the arms on the left and on the right and then here is my seam the bottom of my jacket and 
we will start and just to make it a little easier i will turn it to the side so it's a little easier for me to stitch so we're still here is on the bottom and then we work our way up towards the sleeves grab your two corners and then i go into the front loop of the chain or the top loop and also right here into the top loop of that chain and just pull a regular slip stitch through then i go into the top loop of all three double crochets and connect them the first one only the top loop and the second one the top loop and slip stitch three times for the double crochets Then I make a slip stitch into the chain, also the top loop, and the one in the back, top loop. And then I slip stitch the three doubles together again. This is our seam so far. And now we will create a triangle to make the back a little bit bigger around the neck. I'm making my last slip stitch and I leave five spaces. So my last slip stitch was into the doubles and now I have five spaces. One, two, three, four, five spaces in the front and one, two, three, four, five spaces in the back. Make a slip stitch into the next chain space in the back, chain two, and make a slip stitch into the front piece. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Make a half double into the next chain space in the front piece. Turn your work. And into the chain space of two, make two trebles. Yarn over twice. One and two. Then move to the space, the next space, and make a half double. Four chains. And move to the next space in the same piece and make a half double crochet. Then turn your work back and make two more trebles next to the chain into the half double. So we make groups of three again. Chain one and another group of three next to these three trebles into the space where we made the half double. One, two, three. So we had one, now we have two groups. Now we will make three. Go to the next chain space and make a half double chain four and move to the next chain space and make a half double turn your work and then we repeat the groups of three so we made the chain make two more trebles next to the chain into the into the half double Chain one, three more trebles into the chain space of one next between the two trebles we make. Chain one and the last group in the half double again to the left of the previous groups of three trebles. Then make a half double crochet into the next chain space, 
chain four and make a half double crochet into the corner. Turn your work again. And make two more trebles next to the chain into the half double. Chain one, make three trebles into the chain space of one, one, two, and three. Chain one, make a, another group of trebles, three trebles into the next chain space, one, two and three and one more time chain one and next to the last group into that half double make three trebles one two and three and now make a half double into the corner space and our triangle is done and this is how our seam looks my work is still wrong side up and now we move over and crochet our sleeves together. So here was our back, we just did move over to the corners of your sleeve. And we will use exactly the same stitch. Go into the top loop of the chains in the corner. And put a pull a slip stitch through and then slip stitch into all the stitches just like we did on the back part of our jacket I finished my seam and I made my last slip stitch into the chain space and now I have one more chain space left and I have the corner left on both pieces and we use that space to make a collar. Now repeat the same stitch on the other side on the other sleeve. Now we can add rounds to our sleeve to make it a little bit longer and a little bit more narrow at the end. I added 15 rounds. I turned my work right side out again and now I just fold it in half and I will begin my stitch in the back so my seam runs along the bottom part of the sleeve so I grab this, at this space right here it's about half and we will start as we always do the same pattern, I pull my collar through, make three chains, and then two more double crochet into the same chain space. Chain one, and then again three doubles into the next chain space. And repeat that until you get to the seam. At the seam I make a double crochet into the chain space and a double crochet into the seam and I'm trying to grab two pieces of yarn and a double crochet into the next chain space and then repeat your pattern chain one and continue with the three double crochets. finish the end of the round the same way 
chain one slip stitch into the double into the second double and the third double slip stitch into the chain and leave two loops on the hook and i pulled a new color through make three chains one two three and i can pull everything tight and then two more doubles into the same chain space In the second round we will start the decreases and I will show you in my chart how I did it. Here are my 15 rounds that I added to my sleeve. I always start the round with three double crochet except for the last two because in the last two we will only make two double crochet. So we just started the first round we made three doubles into every space then the next four rounds that's my light brown round I made three doubles three doubles three doubles two doubles so it's three 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 and then two doubles then again three 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 and then two doubles round six seven eight nine which is the beige I made three two three two so I made three doubles two doubles three doubles two doubles three two three two then the white round the white rounds is 10, 11, 12, and 13. And I started again with the three doubles, then two, two, two doubles, three times. Then again, three and two, two, two. So I did that four times. And then my last two rounds are reduced to two doubles into every chain space. So two doubles in a chain, two doubles in a chain, all the way around. And my very last round is only doubles. And I skipped over the chains. So I made a double into every double. And that's it, no chain. I have my jacket right side out again. This is the front. Let's add a collar. I will go into my corner and pull my yarn through. Make three chains. And now into every stitch, make a double crochet. Three doubles into the previous three doubles. and a double into the chain three doubles into the previous doubles and a double crochet into the chain when you get to the seam make a double crochet into that seam try to grab two pieces or maybe even three Make a double crochet into the next chain space, make a double crochet and then so on into every stitch, make a double crochet. When you get to the triangle, make a double into the corner space of our previous piece. Then skip directly into the trebles and make three doubles over the three trebles. Skip over the chain space and make three doubles into the trebles and I have to make that two more times three doubles and one last time and into the chain skip to the corner and continue double crochet into every stitch into the three doubles and into the chain space when you reached your second corner make a double crochet into the corner space chain three turn your work and then make double crochets into each stitch and I added three rows of double crochets. 
You can add more if you want a bigger color. This is how my collar looks from the back with three rows and you can fold it over. This is, look, this is how it looks from the front. I want to add a few more rows on the bottom. If you are happy with it, you don't have to do that. But I want to add going around the front and the back and again the front and then back this way and back and forth. I want to add a few more rows. I turned everything all the way around and I'm starting at my corner. Pull the yarn through. Make three chains. Then into the same chain space, make two more double crochet. Then chain one and continue the pattern as we usually do three doubles. Into the next chain space and the chain and three doubles in the next chain space all the way around. At the seam, I made my last double crochets into the last chain space, then a double crochet into the corner chain space, one into the seam, and one into the chain space again, and then chain again and continue your pattern with three double crochet into the next chain space. In the end of the row, make a chain, and if you want to change colors, make the three double crochet into the corner but don't finish the third one leave two loops on the hook pull your new color through chain four turn your work and continue making the three doubles into the chain space A chain and then three doubles again in the next chain space. At the end of the round, chain one, make a double crochet into the third chain, chain three, turn your work, make two doubles into the chain space, chain one and then continue three doubles into the next chain space a chain and so on at the end of this row chain one chain one again make the three doubles into the chain space chain four turn your work and start the three double crochets again three doubles chain one three doubles and i want to show you a color change on this side too chain one make a double crochet into the third chain but leave two loops on the hook pull your new color through chain three Turn your work and make two double crochets into the chain space. And continue the pattern. Chain one, move to the next space and make three doubles. And now you can continue this pattern until your jacket maybe turns into a long jacket or short coat or maybe a long coat. I added 15 rows to the bottom of my coat or my long jacket and now I'm making a trim around the edge so this is my bottom edge everything is right side up and I start really anywhere you can start go into the first double crochet and start double crocheting into every double crochet make three chains then double crochet into the next double crochet when you get to the chain space, skip over that. Don't make a double crochet into that. Just make double crochets into every double crochet. Then skip over the chain spaces and keep making double crochet until you get to the first corner on the bottom of your jacket. 
at the corner I'm making my last two double crochets in the previous doubles and then I'm going into the third chain and make four doubles into that chain two three and four into the same chain then I turn my work and I make two more doubles into the next two stitches and I'm trying to grab the one the back loop of these stitches so here's the front loop and I'm trying to go into the back loop so I get a nice edge then the next stitch again here's the front loop and I'm trying to go into the back loop and no chain move directly to the next group that you make and here are the front loops one two three and I'm trying to turn my work and I'm going to the back loops I'm making my last three double crochet before I go on the edge where my regular doubles are Then now comes the easy part. Keep continuing to make just doubles into every double all the way to the collar. At the collar, I made two double crochet into every back loop of every double crochet. So two on the first one two on the second one and then here's our chain I made two into to the first two chains and then into the third chain I made four doubles and then I continued with the collar I made a double into every double crochet so make a double into every double and then on the other side of your jacket go down the doubles the same way we went up here and then finish your coat in the corner with the four doubles into the third chain and then make doubles into every double and skip over all the chain spaces I finished my etching with a double crochet and now I will make one more round with a crab stitch put your hook through the back loop of any stitch and you can start that anywhere again and pull your loop through make a chain and the crab stitch moves from the left to the right the hook is at nine o'clock now move it to six o'clock and go into the next back loop to the right from the front to the back go into the back loop and then pull the yarn through now you have two loops on the hook pull through two loops now move the hook again from nine to six o'clock and go through the next loop and I'm only going through the back loops then pull the yarn through and pull through two loops nine to six put the hook from the front to the back through the back loop pull the yarn forward pull through two loops nine to six go through the back loop pull through two loops nine to six go through the back loop and pull through two loops and you can repeat, repeat that for every stitch in the corners as well every stitch make a crab stitch i did the same etching that we did all around the jacket i did that on the sleeves as well as well so i did one round of double crochet into every double crochet then a crab stitch into every stitch on both sleeves If you want, you can add buttons to your jacket. I hope you liked this project. I hope you had fun. I see you next time. Bye bye.